These past four years have been a real challenge for many working families. But the future of our nation really comes down to one simple question. Who is gonna stand up and fight for you when it really matters most? Growing up in East St. Louis, mom and dad worked for the railroad. They taught me the value of hard work and knowing it's what you do in tough times that counts the most. Is it any wonder that the farmers are struggling to survive? With the stakes so high in Washington, that's the lesson I take with me to work every single day. Durbin, nice to see you this morning. In Congress, we took on the tobacco and vaping industry, and we haven't stopped since. Our body voted to regulate the use of tobacco. If they're going to continue to take unreasonable positions, their days are numbered. When it came to holding big oil accountable, we said enough was enough. These oil companies, over the last seven years, they're making more money than any business has ever made in the history of America. We have seen our commitment to clean water and clean air compromised, and those compromises came to an end today. When for-profit colleges put their profits ahead of the students, we took them on. They faced the prospect of debt, dropout, default, dead-end jobs. I was one of 23 senators who said no to the war in Iraq. It was the right thing to do. Start bringing our soldiers home. I knew when it was time for change in Washington. I was the first senator to endorse Barack Obama for president. Could not be a better United States senator re-elected Durbin. Together, we fought for the right of every American to have access to affordable, quality health care. Don't the people of America deserve as good of insurance as their members of Congress? The road hasn't been easy. Sometimes you have to take a step back to take that first step again. Nonviolent drug offenders. These are issues of fundamental human rights and justice that our country must face. It's about saving lives, period. Tragedy continues to repeat itself. The question is, what will we do about it? Do we have the guts to stand up and do something? Or are we gonna cower, afraid of the National Rifle Association? Here's the thing, this work has never been about politics for me. I don't care who likes me or who puts a target on my back. It really doesn't bother me, because I know who I'm fighting for. We've got to make sure that workers and working families get paid a fair wage. They're the ones who got up and went to work this morning in the darkness of the early morning hours. Working families are falling behind. Which is one reason I'll never stop fighting and I'll never stop dreaming. Fighting for justice, you've got to be determined and patient. Look behind me. They're our dream of the future. This job is far from finished, and I promise you, we'll get through this together. We know these obstacles won't be easy, but together, we've never backed down from a challenge. Here in Illinois, that's who we are. Good morning, everybody. Dick Durbin, nice to see y'all. I love it. It's in my blood. If you don't like people, you shouldn't be in this business.